Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's been a couple days. Um, we had another project, but you guys will see it uh, well, probably in another day or two. But we do have our block painted. We painted a uh, kind of a pretty maroon color. And well, here's our crank. We relief cut it for counterbalance. And here's our connecting rod. We skeletonized it for you know balance purposes, make it a little bit lighter. And well, we got our flywheels painted and done. It'll show up. But we turned this here. We got a nice 45 on both sides, the chamfer on both of our flywheels. Here's the other one. So um, and we've got well, we've got our ball bearings here. So I think tonight we're going to we'll put our crank in it tonight and we'll check that out. So when it comes to these bearings, you know, they're sealed, rubber lip seals on both sides. We're going to pop that seal out of the inside of these because we're going to run, well, we're going to run four bearings. We'll put two, you know, two of them in each part of this journal. And uh, that way we can still use our oil cups. It'll drop through the center here and the inside of these that doesn't have a seal, well, then we'll have lube on our main bearings. Let me get these popped out and we get things lined up. Okay, well, I'll show you guys these bearings. So, you can see this in here has no seal on this side. We're still sealed there. So, uh, with these original bronze or brass bushings, they're wider than our journal. I can show you on this. You guys see the difference in the width of them? So that acted as our thrust back and you know side to side. Well, since these are going to be able to float, these bearings will. They fit nice and solid this way, but not so good that way. We're going to need a uh, a thrust bearing, thrust bushing. So we've got some brass here that we turn to fit. And I'll bring this block over here, you guys can see it. So these here fit right in between. And we have just the slightest amount of playback side to side. So that will take care of our end play. Let's get these bearings slid onto our shaft. We'll get our bearing caps on here. Go from there. Hopefully you guys are in frame. But you can see how we've got this oriented now. Um, we have our seals on the outside and no seals on the inside. We have our brass thrust washers here on that. And it turns so nice. Ball bearings are fantastic. So let's get our oil cups put back on here and our main caps. Those will get mounted on there. I guess we'll keep moving. All right, we got our crank mounted in there, and that sure does feel nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and slide one of our flywheels on here. And uh, there have been several good comments, and well, I've seen several of you guys do it, where you know, mount the flywheel inboard like this, and yeah, that that gives you a well a cleaner look on this side. But, well, in my line of work, what I do for a living, if you see somebody that put one of those on backwards, they just made your day really rough because, well, on air compressors and so on, you mount them from the outside so you can get them off. So, maybe it's just me, but I'm going to mount them like this because if I see them the other way, I think to myself, oh, great, I'm in for another fantastic day of dealing with somebody else's mistake. But... It's probably not a mistake. It's everybody's preference, but we'll get this tightened down. We're gonna see how well these work. We've still got to put our, well, our timing gear back on the other side before we get it on, but I want to see how well these roll. You guys couldn't see any of that, could you? I like it guys and we haven't even put any oil down here in our cups yet 
so it turns nice and smooth. We'll get our crank finish assembled tonight, and then tomorrow night we'll we'll keep going in on this and keep moving forward. Get the rest of it put together. We've got our head done, and oh, we've still got to lap our valves and so. But uh, yeah, it's all painted. So all right, we'll slip slip this one on. It's going to be a short video again, guys. Sorry, but you know, I've been busy out here working on uh, working on another project that you guys will get to see in a day or two. But uh, kind of wanted to get that one finished before I kept going on this one because, well, that one there was for a special purpose in my mind. So get this tightened down. We'll give it a roll, see how it sounds. Put a couple drops of oil in there and let those bearings see what they're going to do for the rest of their days. Very smooth. I like it. And that'll let me know if these uh, bearing seals are going to hold up. If I come back out here tomorrow and we've got oil laying here, then I'll know that those bearing seals, well, they weren't up to the task. So. I'm not even spinning this that hard, guys. It's a pretty slick setup right now. All right, well, hey, sorry it was a short one, guys. We'll leave this guy sitting right here tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, we'll get back after it. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. You're fantastic. We'll see you tomorrow night.